Hi and welcome to iTech Aspirant. In today's video, I'll guide you through the complete process of installing Windows 10, whether it's on your PC or VMware Workstation 17 Pro. We'll cover everything step by step, from downloading the Windows 10 ISO to setting up VMware and completing the installation. But before we start, I want to address something important. Some of you may have noticed that my previous video on installing Windows 7 has been removed. Unfortunately, I made a mistake in that video by downloading Windows 7 from an untrusted source instead of the official Microsoft website. To ensure everyone's safety and security, I decided to take it down. I apologize for any inconvenience caused and assure you that this video will follow official and trusted sources. First, open your browser and go to the Microsoft website. Search for Windows 10 ISO download. Click download Windows 10 disk image file. I will give the link of this in description. Scroll down and click download now. Then open the downloaded file. Read and accept. Select the version you need. If you want to upgrade your PC to Windows 10, then select Upgrade this PC now, otherwise select Create Installation Media USB, DVD, or ISO file and click Next. Click Next. Make sure that you've 8GB of free space on C. Select as your need and click Next. If you want to install Windows on other device, Select USB flash drive and store this on your USB. And see this video from 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Choose the path where you want to store your ISO file. Right click and make a new folder to find it easily in future. Select the folder and click save. This can take some time according to your internet speed. After downloading, click Finish. Here is our disk image file. Now open VMware Workstation 17 Pro. If you don't have, watch my previous video. Click Create the new virtual machine. Click Next. Select I will install the operating system later and click Next. Select Windows 10 x 64 and click Next. Click Browse and select Folder to store Windows All Setup and Activities. Right-click on your disk in which there's enough space and create a new folder. Select that folder and click OK. Click Next. Now allocate maximum disk size according to your free space. Select Store Virtual Disk as a single file. Now customize hardware. Assign enough RAM and processor cores based on your system's capability. A minimum of 3GB RAM is recommended. Select Use the ISO image. Browse to the location of your Windows 10 ISO and select it. Select NAT. Click Show all the USB input devices. After all, click Close, click Finish. Now power on the virtual machine. Wait until this boot manager appear. Press Enter. Press any key. Click Install now. Click Next. Click I don't have a product key. Select Windows 10 Pro if you want to work with domain and networks. Now choose your region. Choose your keyboard layout. Skip this. Set up for personal use. 
Click offline account. Click limited experience. Enter your name. Enter a memorable password. Create three security questions and make sure your answers and unforgettable, just in case you forget your password. Read and accept. I personally disable everything that is possible. Click not now. After a few moments and some different screens, you'll greeted with the Windows 10 desktop for the first time. Now I get open and install VM tools. Enter your password. Right click on Windows 10 and click install VMware tools. Click this and run setup. Click yes. Click next. Click install. Click finish after setup is completed. Click yes to restart your computer. That's it. If you found it useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to iTech Aspirant for more related content. If you have any questions or face any issues, feel free to drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.